So with the release of Zamorak, a few places have become incredibly good money. So we're going to talk about which bosses have increased in profit per hour since the release of Zamorak and show you guys which bosses you could be doing at this point in the time to make an absolute ton of money and take advantage while you still can. Of course, me making this video could affect the prices slightly if everyone floods to these places and starts farming them out, but it shouldn't make a huge difference as the items are clearly in high demand and that is why the prices have skyrocketed up. But anyway, let's talk about where we're going and you guys can get there and start grinding out some cash and make, maybe just make quite a bit of money. Anyway, if you enjoy the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And also, finally, if you enjoy extra content from myself, such as clips or even if you like the music in the background, there is links in the description for my shorts channel and my music channel you can go and check them both out subscribe to them both as well because it helps me out in the long run too and it's nice free content for you guys anyway let's jump into this video so with Zamorak releasing, there's been, in fact, two videos already, one from Protox, one from Nuznuz, and I'm not going to be talking about things that they've mentioned. I checked. I'm not copying them. We're talking about different things in this video, which is good. But also, that there is a big tip for you guys, too. Go and check out their videos if you haven't already, where they talk about the market changes, and you can probably make a little bit more money there, too. With the Zamorak changes, there has been a lot of changes in the market with different items and stuff, and there is a few things that are in way higher demand than normal. Now, the things we're going to focus on in this video are going to be specifically for the combat style, which is mostly used at Zamorak, and that is going to be magic. Magic is incredibly strong still. Of course it is, because magic is the best in the game. I mean, you've got Crypt Bloom, so Crypt Bloom's incredibly overpowered, and it makes Zamorak way easier. And because Crypt Bloom is magic gear, magic stuff has flown up insanely. Now, the first one we're going to talk about is going to be the Greater Concentrated Blast Ability Codex, which you can get from Kerapak in normal mode and in hard mode, and it used to cost, before Zamorak released, around about 80 mil. I think it was really low. It was incredibly low. But of course, with Magic being the style that everybody is adopting, everybody then needs to buy out the Greater Concentrated Blast Ability Codex. It's too good to have, and you cannot really want to do PVM without it. It is way too strong, and that's forced the price up from around about 80 mil. I think it was about 80 mil, maybe even a little bit smaller than that, smaller, lower than that, and it's way over now. Now, if you check on the Sutibot Discord, you're going to see price checks of around about 150 million GP. Now, this is one day ago, as you can see with the screenshot, it says one day ago. I have proof, screenshot proof, that these are selling at the moment for around about 232 million GP as an insta sell. One of my friends here sold one of them, put it in at 150 mil because he checked in the price check discord, chucked it in there and it insta sell it was 232 million GP. 232 mil for doing normal mode care pack. This is insanely good this is ridiculous you can get these not that rarely at carapac and normal mode in fact if you're going to solo carapac and normal mode your drop chance of these is going to be a pretty generous one in 256 this is if you're in a solo of course because you get three drops per kill making the drop chance originally a one in 768 but of course three drops you divide it by three one in 256 this is incredibly good it is so expensive and it is massive money now don't get me wrong you could get the gloves you could get the scripture of jazz but if you grab yourself a an ability codex from here you're going to be making a ton of money in a normal mode boss that's really not that difficult to do so i will link down below my care pack normal mode guide if you guys have any use for that and you want to learn this boss i'm going to see if you can do it you can absolutely do this boss in ganodermic with tier 85 ones probably even less using animate dead get through nice and easy it's not that difficult in normal mode it really really isn't so take advantage while you can let's move on to the next thing Next up, we are moving to a bit of a high level boss, but it's something if you maybe have done this boss in a little while ago and haven't returned recently, or maybe you have it on your tracker and you want to work on it. But honestly, it is something that you want to work on like now. I am talking about Solak. Solak is a great boss to make a lot of money at. It always has been, especially since they made it so that Grimoire pages are a 100% drop. Every time you kill Solak, you're going to be getting a Grimoire page. At the moment, because magic is the best in slot combat style for Zamorak and for many other places as well, and you want to be using a grimoire the entire time you're using a staff of armadil you're going to be using a lot of grim pages which pushes the demand of grimoire pages up very high and i know that at the moment grimoire pages are sitting at around about 7.5 million gp each as of making this video i said that right one page 7.5 million gp 
Now, I can tell you quite comfortably that in a duo with one of my friends that I go here with, we play it quite casually. We can we can easily get nine kills an hour here. Nine kills an hour, six-ish minutes. It's really not that difficult to do once you've got a bit of experience here. Now, if you're wanting to learn this boss, you can still make great money because even if you get like six kills an hour, you're still going to be making an absolute ton of money because it's 7.5 mil at least per kill. Guaranteed for both of you. You don't split that because you both get a page each. You have the chance of getting these 25 page drops as well, which you, if you want to split them, then that's up to you to decide. But also you have the Blightbound Crossbow chance and the Grimoire chance as well. So you're going to get consistently great money and you can go ahead and then try and get the drops as well. So this, this boss is incredible right now. I can't even stress enough how good this boss is to farm out right now. You don't as well, which is one thing important to, to consider. If you're using magic, your Grimoire will not use charge while you're in here. So it will cost you way less per hour to kill this boss than other bosses. And you're going to be able to go ahead and make an absolute fortune every time you kill the boss. So if you haven't learned this boss yet, now's a great time to do so. If you have learned this boss and you know how to farm the hell out of it, now is a really, really good time to do so. If you can get 10 kills an hour here, you're making 75 mil an hour purely on pages each. And then if you get anything else in there, you're going to be pushing that up to 80, 85 mil, and then counting the rares way above 100 million an hour. It's absolutely crazy. While this boss is going to take a lot more effort to learn and practice and have gear to do it with, if you've got the gear, if you've got the, the, the PVM skill and stuff, now's a good time to do so. The next item I'm going to talk about is something that almost anyone with average level PVM skills and high, like average like levels and stuff and average gear can take advantage of and make a freaking fortune. I'm not even joking. You can make bank here and it's more than you've probably been able to make here in maybe forever. So we're talking about the Dagonoff Kings. The Dagonoff Kings are incredible money at the moment because these Sears rings are around about 16 to 17 million GP as of recording this video for a ring, a Sears ring from killing the Dagonoff Kings. I get so many people telling me that they do this on mobile. They go to the Dagonoff Kings on mobile and they just sit there and they just kill Dagonoff Kings all day, every day, farming out these rings and they make an absolute fortune. Well, before Zamorak, these were around about 15 mil on a good day and then they would drop between like 12 to 15 mil, I think, going off what I can remember and that, that was good that was really good money it was worth doing them and it's because of course the channeler's ring upgrade has come through and getting the channeler's ring requires 10 seers rings and magic is best in slot everyone wants the channeler's ring so the prices of these have absolutely flown up you can do these you need to, you need tribrid gear you need to be able to kill all three combat styles of them um you can get rings from each one of them you can get the melee ring the the ranger ring and the the seers ring the mage ring as well the Sears ring is absolutely the prize to go for, but all the other rings are still high in value as well. So you can make a fortune doing this boss and I don't know, you don't need that high requirements to do it. And you, you, you can absolutely fly through kills, especially if you get them on a Slayer task or something like that. It is incredible money right now. Our next place that we're going to talk about is bosses that I have kind of condemned being dead content for as long as I can, as long as they've been out pretty much. I think I did these bosses on release and then after that I was just like, these bosses are a meme if they're not worth doing anymore. But it may have changed and it may have changed for the same reason as everything else on this list. Magic gear is in high demand. The Chandler's ring from the Sears rings and from Dagon of Kings and stuff is in high demand. To make the Chandler's ring, you need 10 Sears rings and you need a heart of the seer that comes from the Rex Matriarchs. Now, killing the mage Rex Matriarch will drop you a heart of the seer. Where, well, on, on rare chance in a drop rate of around about 1 in 200. It's a 1 in 200 drop rate to kill these and get one of these Hearts of the Seer that are sitting at around about 100 million GP right now. 1 in 200 really isn't that high. It really, really isn't. And you can absolutely get a ton of money doing this. I, I hate to say it, but this is great money. The Heart of the Warrior is 20 mil from the melee one. The Heart of the Archer is around about 20 mil, 15 mil again, I think, from the, from the, uh, from the, the range one. But... Killing the um, the mage one, the one that I can't pronounce the name of. It's like Pathakathenka Rikin or something. I don't know. I can't do it. <laughs> but that's around about 100 mil. I'll put screenshots on screen for you guys to see it, of course, to see that I'm not just talking rubbish about the prices because it is different from the G value. It is ridiculously in demand right now. And you can make a fortune from doing so. But these are incredibly good places to come and grind out bosses. It's not that difficult to kill these with a little bit of range gear. You can kill kill down the, the mage, Rex Matriarch, pretty easily. Take a little bit of practice to get used to the mechanics. But otherwise, it's not the hardest boss in the world. You can definitely come here, you grind it out, make a good amount of money, and you're not going to need the best gear in the world. So you can still make a good amount of bank as a lower level, lower, lower geared sort of player. 
So if you are someone looking for some new content to grind out, maybe you want to get a new cool pet as well, because this has a pretty cool pet, right? But if you can come here, you can make 100 million GP in one every 200 kills. If you go on drop rate, you maybe you get really lucky. Maybe you go a little bit dry. But 100 million GP for killing a pretty average level skill boss is absolutely crazy and uh, just worth a mention in my opinion. So looking back on that, there is four places you can go at the moment where prices have absolutely gone insanely good and you can take advantage and make a good amount of money. I'll personally be going to care pack and doing a lot of norm mode care pack just because I, I enjoy the boss. I think it's very easy to do. You can get pretty fast kills, especially with high level gear and you can grind the crap out of that boss and the gray concentrate blasts aren't that rare to get. And I may even do some some um, Dragon of Kings on mobile or something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But Karapak, the Great Concentrate Blast Ability Codex, absolute fortune. The Dragon of Rings, absolute fortune for the Seer's Ring. And there's going to be the, the Rex Matriarchs as well, the Heart of the Seer. And then, of course, we can't forget about good old Solak, the higher level one in this video, where you can be making an unreal amount of guaranteed money per hour. It is ridiculous. This may be the most consistent money maker in the game right now, except for high and raised Telos, probably. It is is, it is ridiculous it's guaranteed you're going to get a, a page every single kill and for 7.5 mil every single kill but plus whatever loot that you get it's i just can't suggest so like enough right now if you do have it do it in a duo just get through the kills as fast as you can you're going to be making a fortune it is worth it every single time and the cost of doing it with a grimoire on is like so freaking low as well it just blows me away anyway i wanted to share this with you guys um i just want to say thank you so much to winsley you tipped me off to pretty much most of these except for the grimoire pages so i appreciate it very much dude like like thank you very much for taking that time and letting me know because the this is these are massive so hopefully it helps a lot of people out and making a bit of extra cash especially for the lower levels that can take advantage of this stuff and increase your bank a little bit but other than that, channel members, thank you so much for your extra support. Your names will have been on screen at some point or maybe right now. I really do appreciate the extra support you guys provide. Of course, it does help out more than you probably know. If anyone else wants to join the channel members and support the channel while you get some extra perks, click the join button by the sub button. And like I say, it is incredibly helpful. It's very appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. If you're interested in the extra content and listen to whatever music is playing in the background, if you enjoy it, then in the description, there's a couple of links down there for you to check out. Go ahead and do that. I've linked a guide for my Carapac Normal Mode guide as well. But other than that, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you all, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.